welcome back to your last game maker tutorial this is going to be the last in the series and we will be fixing some problems to our game let's find the problem This is the first problem with our health is zero but our game is still going on we need to reset our game when the health is zero so let's make it so go to your health and score object create a new event which is going to be the step event and step we are going to tell test the score sorry health test the health value is zero okay then we want to sleep for two seconds that is 200 milliseconds okay then we can make a message appear which is you are dead again click ok put the message you want right here and click ok and we want to set our score back to zero because we are restarting the game and health back to 100 so when we restart the games score will be zero and health will be 100 so restart the room make it from right okay then make sure you don't click relative here and health no relative okay now if you run only this code will be taken under if condition so we want to add a block right here so this will be considered as uh, one line of code under this if so click ok for testing we can make health to maybe 50 so to hit with uh, our enemy and we are dead see one there's two hit and our health is zero 
now we got a message you are dead and the game restarts and the score is zero and the health is back to 100 so we fix few problems so let's change this to back to 5 okay then we might need to add a new room for our menu rename it as menu and drag it on top of room 0 so the menu room will be loading first we needed to add a new sprite which will be the play button you can either load a button or maybe we can make a new play button go to edit sprite file new put the width 100 height 32 ok now select go to edit and edit so there it is fill the color you want I am going with this yellow that's the text put play ok and change color to black click on the font I need size to 18 bold ok that is play button ok ok and rename the sprite change this button play ok now go to object create object select the button player and rename it as button player and we can eat the add the events right now which is going to be the mouse global mouse left button pressed we want to go to our game room this one which is room 0 we will rename it go to main and this one go to different room select the room you want and if you want any transition select a transition click ok and ok now rename it as something game so go to menu room and almost in the center put the play button okay let's run and see yeah the play button is not in the middle I want to change it little bit to left 
So click the play and there's the game starts. So our new room is working and like the explosion we can add some animation to our button if you like go to menu move it uh, right here okay now we have a new room but no background so create background and load here is the background one open change this background menu add the add the next background it's going to be the background game load oh and add this one open okay by the way I have put a link to these backgrounds in the description so download them if you want to use so let's add backgrounds to our room go to backgrounds and click right here and choose the background yeah that is our background right here okay now go to game background and click and choose the background go to object our enemy I don't want too much enemies as we start so delete them if you remember that is left click on your mouse to delete put some and we can even move our player to bottom okay think the room is okay we have added the backgrounds okay to make the game little bit more interesting change the speed to one of your player change for both four keys change it to one okay now we can test our game whether it is working and you can add more rooms and you can even add a room which is the story and there is one more thing to make the game little bit more difficult as our enemy object is outside the room go to score set health and it's minus five so click relative so every time the enemies is going outside our room then our health decreases okay then let's run here oh, we need to change our play button little bit to right 
that's okay we can fix it later let's play there is our background and there is our as enemies goes outside the room our health is decreasing every time we hit a enemy the score is increasing now the game is little bit tougher and you can add more rooms if you like there is our message and restarts you might also need to decrease our enemy speed With now it's they are moving so fastly make it one okay okay now the game is done and if you want to make a executable file that, that is dot exe of the game we just made you can do go to file and create executable or before that you might need to save okay file create executable here it is we can there is a another game i made name it as you want i am going to stick with part 8 so save there sorry not this one but if we click again there i have saved our game as part8.exe now it should be working on xp7 and probably on 8 so that's it i am finishing this series of the game maker tutorials i hope you learned something and maybe i'll be adding more videos to this like how to make some enemies shoot and creating power-ups at random and some other cool stuffs so stay tuned subscribe like and share see you at the next tutorial series this is Sajil and have a good day.